Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello! My name's George Agambar and I'm a UK music producer. Today's video is all about my favourite logic shortcuts. They save you so much time and are so useful. And whilst at the beginning it may seem like a lot to learn and a lot to remember, I promise that the more you practice using them, the easier it will become until it's like second nature to you. So if you want to learn some really handy little shortcuts, make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Wednesday. And things will never be the same when I hear your name since you kissed me in the rain. Let's start by having a look at the shortcuts that I think are pretty universal across lots of computer programs. So these shortcuts you'll find are also similar to shortcuts in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and so on. Firstly, and most importantly, save. You do this by pressing Command and S. I don't think I need to say why this is so important, but please make sure that you regularly save projects you're working on. Then you have undo. This is by pressing Command and Z. It's very helpful for if you make a mistake. For example, if you accidentally delete a track that you didn't mean to. And finally, we have the classic copy and paste using Command and C and Command and V. I love using these when I want to copy MIDI material across from one track to another, but you can also use this across multiple projects. So if you have a track open in one project, you can copy it across to a separate project using these copy and paste shortcuts. Then let's have a look at the shortcuts that we need to use when we're in the recording stage. These are so, so helpful, especially when you're recording and performing yourself, as they save you so much time. To begin recording, all you have to do is press R, R for record. To stop recording, you can press the space bar, which also doubles as a play button too. You can turn the metronome on by pressing K. I like to remember it by K for click. Interestingly, you don't have to do this before you press record. It can be done at any point during the recording. You can insert a new audio track by pressing Ctrl, Command and A. Any shortcuts to do with tracks normally require you to press Ctrl and Command. And then you have A for audio track. Then to insert a software instrument track, as it's a track you press Ctrl and Command and S for software instrument. Now let's talk about bouncing, importing and exporting our tracks. To bounce a track, you press Ctrl, Command and B, as it's a track and it's B for bounce. To bounce in place, however, you only need to press Ctrl and B. To import an audio file, you press Shift, Command and I for import. And to export, you do the same by pressing Shift, Command and E. But if you want to export a single file, you can forget about Shift and just press Command and E. These were some of the last shortcuts that I learnt, but I must admit, being able to bring up different windows and menus at literally the press of one button made my life a whole lot easier. So to bring up the piano roll, you press P for piano roll. For the mixer window, you press X. I remember this by thinking of the X in the word mixer. Not the best, I know, and I'm sorry. For the software editor, you press N. And to be completely honest with you, I have no way of remembering this one, I'm afraid. And then to bring up the library window, you press Y. I try to think of the Y at the end of library, but I'll admit that this isn't the easiest to remember. These are the little mixing tool shortcuts that we have in Logic. Now, you don't necessarily have to use all these tools when mixing, it's just the stage and the process that I find myself using these tools in the most, and so it's really handy to know these shortcuts. The easiest ones are for muting and soloing a track. You just have to make sure that the track is selected and then you press M for mute or S for solo. To hide a track, you press Ctrl and H for hide. And to create a track stack, you select the tracks you like and press Shift and D. I don't find myself using this as much, but it is very useful to know as it saves so much time rather than right clicking and finding track stack from the pop-up menu. I thought that I would let you guys know my favourite shortcut of all time, as a little extra for those of you that have stayed until the end of the video. 
This shortcut allows you to switch between tools by pressing two buttons. So by pressing these two buttons, I can switch, for example, from the cursor tool to the fade tool. All you have to do is press T for tool. Then a menu of each of the different tools will appear on your screen. You'll see that each of the different tools have a letter next to them. You simply then press the corresponding letter to the tool you want and you'll see the tool switch. It's amazingly quick and the best part is you don't even have to remember the whole shortcut because it's all there on the screen for you. So those are my favourite shortcuts in Logic to use. And whilst it may seem like a lot to learn and a lot to remember in the beginning, I can promise that the more you use them and the more you practice using them, the easier it will become. And in the long run, it really is worth putting in the work to remember these shortcuts. There are so many more shortcuts in Logic and you can find a huge list of them online and I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can find them. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you found it useful and interesting. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you again soon.